For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says express F in Cartesian vector form from point B to point C as if B was 3 meters from point C. In other words, from here to here is 3 meters. It's not at the halfway point like the problem we did before. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the position vector C then we're going to find the position vector from C to B by using this magnitude and the unit vector from C to A because we got A and we got C and then we're, with those values we're going to find the position vector uh, B and then uh, we're going to solve the problem from B to D like we usually do so first we're going to find all the positions that we do know A is equal to 0i plus 0j plus 4k B is the one we're trying to find, we don't know because it sits 3 meters from C to B, that's all we know C is equal to negative 3i plus 4j plus 0k and D is equal to 4i plus 6j plus 0k the first thing we're going to do is find the vector that goes from C to A C to A is equal to vector A minus vector C which means AX minus CX in the I plus AY minus CY in the J plus AC minus CC in the K direction. So when you plug the numbers in for A and for C, you're going to get that this is equal to 3i minus 4j plus 4k. Now we're going to find the magnitude of this vector CA by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square these three values 3 4 and 4 you plug them into this 3 and you're gonna get that the magnitude is equal to 6.4 now to find the uni vector ca this uni tiny uni vector right here with a magnitude of 1 you're gonna do the vector ca divided by its magnitude that is absolute value okay ca and you're gonna get that dividing this 3, this 4, and this 4, dividing them by this 6.4, and you're going to get this unit vector 0.469i minus 0.625j plus 0.625k. Now that we got this unit vector, we can find the vector CV because we know that the magnitude of CV is given to us at 3 meters the cv vector along here is going to be equal to the magnitude times a uni vector going through it so you're going to multiply this uni vector by this value and you're going to get that cv is equal to 1.407i minus 1.875j plus 1.875k now we got vector CV now follow me here we know that CV is equal to B minus C therefore you know that vector B the position vector B which is the vector we're trying to find is going to be vector CV plus C See, we just pass this C towards the other side of the equal sign and it passes from a negative to a positive and you get this equation. So basically you just plug them in. Vector CV is given right here. So you plug this into here. 1.407i minus 1.875j 
plus 1.875k plus position vector c which we have right here which is negative 3i plus 4j plus 0k so you add the i with the i the j with the j and the k with the k and once you add them together you're gonna get that this is equal to negative 1.593i plus 2.125j plus 1.875k this is position vector b now that we have position vector b we can easily uh, find we can easily find the univector from b to d let me draw a line right here i'm gonna need the space so let me move down okay so we got bd is equal to d minus b which is equal to when you plug the numbers in from this vector and from this vector d right here you're gonna get that this is equal to 5.593i plus 3.875j that's a point minus 1.875k then we find the magnitude of this vector and we are going to get that this is equal to 7.06 and we can find the uni vector by dividing the vector by its magnitude and the uni vector comes out to be 0.792i plus 0.549j minus 0.266k now that we have this uni vector all we have to do is multiply by the magnitude that we're given which is 600 to find the Cartesian vector form of the force the Cartesian vector form of the force is the magnitude by the uni vector and it comes out to be 475.2i plus 329.4j minus 159.6k final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.